Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be repainting this G3 Torilai. I'm doing this because I really don't like G3 Torilai's face screening. So far, G3 is very cute. I love the construction and quality of the dolls. However, the fashion and the designs are not my favorite, as well as some of the style choices. But for what they are, they are pretty cute and I love the new messages that they are spreading. So today's victim is Ghoul Spirit Torilai. I was gonna customize her because the Ghoul Spirit pack is really cheap and I know it's a budget set, but I would have been mad if I paid full price for it, to be honest. Right, this is her outfit. I don't think it is the best feeling material. She had some sneakers. She had this little top knot, but I took it down. It's the second doll that we've had the top knot on and I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. She has some cute earrings, this little necklace as well. Oh, and she had a tail, but I took that off. The thought process behind this doll was maybe like a rock angels vibe. But anyways, I'm gonna start to prep her. I recommend 100% acetone. Do not use regular nail polish remover. I don't recommend using nail polish remover because it tends to make the job really hard. But with acetone and some cotton swabs as well as some cotton rounds, I'm able to remove the face pretty easily. Once you have removed the face, wash it off with some soap and water, and then grab your Mr. Super Clear and spray about two or three coats. Once it's dry, I start sketching on the face with a graphite pencil. In this stage, I'm able to map everything out, get the little tendencies right in order to make the face up something that I like. Here, I'm using a kneaded eraser to lift off some of that graphite, and then I'm using sharpened watercolor pencils for the rest of the line work. In this stage, I'm really just trying to get it as symmetrical as I can, though that's asking for a lot. I also start sketching out the shape of the lips. This part was a little tricky because I didn't like Torlai's smirk, and so I tried to de-emphasize that, if that's a word. I really just ended up making her lips kind of asymmetrical. I'm really trying to make these eyelashes look pretty sharp. And you can't forget the eyebrows. Every time you want to save your progress and build more color, spray it again with some more MSC. And I think that's what I did here. And now I'm starting to add a little bit more depth and some emphasis to the eyeshadow. And this is the face before disaster struck. Not really, but I started to sand the face down because I didn't like the face shape that much. I know this is pretty wacky, but I used a Dremel for most of it and then I buffed it down with this little nail file thing. You can sort of tell, but her face is less angular and more softened. In any case, I'm adding final touches with pencils before using white and black acrylic paint. And I'm also painting her lips with this metallic pink shade.
Here, I'm giving the doll some blush using watercolor pencils. Now it's time for the boil wash. I wrapped her up again to spray her down, and then I poured hot water all over her and myself. Now for the fun bit, I'm sectioning off these framing pieces in front of her face and I'm gelling them down so they can lay straight. Then you want to make sure that it dries completely so that you can use watercolor pencils dipped in water in order to give her these really sick, awesome coontails. Spray it with some hairspray at the end and make sure you let it dry completely otherwise you'll have a smudged mess. And you can see here that she doesn't have the coontails and that's because I had to do it a second time. I'm putting on a Rock Angel Jade outfit. I'm pulling out all her broken hairs. And then I wanted to see what she looked like with fishnets so I made these really terrible ones but they didn't look good, so I just scrapped it. But I'm adding her last accessories and these shoes from a Series 1 Ruby Anderson from Rainbow High, of course. And she's finally finished after I paint her nails black. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed watching. I really enjoyed revamping Ms. Torlai here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, as well as follow me on my other socials. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.